Now we're standing here along the Rouge River in southwest Detroit, and behind me is a story of decades of underinvestment, legacy pollution, and neglect. And over the past several years, the Rouge has really improved thanks to efforts both local and at the federal level, both big and small. And now an extra $100 million in federal money is going to get pumped into this river to, among many other things, remove and cap contaminated sediment, which the EPA says is the river's biggest problem. The Rouge and the Detroit, they are big ticket items. On top of the more than $100 million for the Rouge, the Detroit River will get around $400 million, says EPA Region 5's Chris Korleski. That contamination has been there for way too long. The next phase of a current remediation project for the Rouge involves the costly job of dredging 70,000 cubic yards of industry-contaminated sediment. All I had heard about the Rouge was that somebody threw a match into it once and it exploded into flame. That's Peggy Tabor, who more than 20 years ago moved into this home along Pebble Creek. It feeds directly into the Rouge, which Peggy pretty quickly learned a lot more about. In 2002, she helped spearhead this stream bank stabilization project. We put big logs in this area. And this was just you and your neighbors? It was us and our neighbors and uh, friends of the Rouge. The work they did cut back on local flooding and improved habitats for fish like trout, which once again swim here, she says. It's just a beautiful green canopy over the whole, over the whole stream bank. From small neighborhood efforts like this to a billion dollars of federal investment, each project makes a difference, says Executive Director of Friends of the Rouge, Marie McCormick. It is helping us holistically meet our mission. We are um, leading a, a water trail and a greenways trail effort um, along the, the Lower Rouge, um, and that sediment remediation and cleanup is going to help improve the water quality. Key, she says, to inviting people back to this once vibrant waterway. It's something they're already doing through kayak launches. Another AOC getting a chunk of that billion dollars is the Clinton River, but it needs far less work than the Rouge or the Detroit. By the end of 2030, we want to be almost done with, this, with these AOCs. A lofty goal, even with this added investment, says McCormick but a crucial step in the direction we need to go and are already moving, thanks in no small part to tiny steps and people like Peggy. We're part of a community and we have a responsibility. Now, once that nasty sediment is removed, it will then be taken off site and disposed of by the Army Corps of Engineers. The next phase of work to begin here on the Rouge is expected to start either late at the end of this construction season or early at the beginning of next construction season, according to the EPA. Two local rivers a little further along in their recovery phase, the St. Clair River and the River Raisin, those are poised to be delisted as AOCs as early as 2026. So some progress there, according to the EPA. You can read much more about the work being done here on the Rouge and all of other waterways in Metro Detroit, getting a chunk of this federal money on our website, WXYZ.com. Jen Chance, 7 Action News. Yeah, to see all the work that's being done and all the funding from the, the federal level all the way to the local grassroots efforts going into helping the and health of our every little bit race. counts, too. Yeah. That's right. And you can tell it's working because the fish are coming back. Mm -hmm. All right, Jen Chance, live for us this morning. Thank you, Jen.